Welcome to race 4 of the Goober Cup Series at Ping Pong City 300. Now let's look at the starting lineup. Row 1 we have our pole sitter Kyle Busch alongside Alex Bowman and in row 2 Joey Logano and Martin Turex Jr. Coming in row 3, two teammates Jimmy Johnson and Chase Elliott. Row 4 followed up with Daniel Suarez and Brad Kowalski. In row 5 we have Denny Hamlin and Austin Dillon and in row 6 Bubba Wallace and Eric Jones. For row 7 we have Kevin Harvick and William Byron. And then row 8 Kyle Larson and Ricky Stenhouse. And in row number 9, Paul Menard in the number 21, he'll look to make his way through the field today starting from the last position here at Ping Pong City. The green flag is waving and we are underway at Ping Pong City. Kyle Bush and Alex Bowman lead us to it. It is a pretty big track today. 10 laps here at Ping Pong City. We are in for a show as Alex Bowman takes the lead away from Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush looking to the outside, coming into the final turn. Who is going to lead the first lap ever at Ping Pong City? It's going to go to Kyle Bush in the number 18 M&M's Camry. Entering turn number one. Three wide already in the middle of the pack. It's getting Nancy back there. Alex Bowman regains the lead from Kyle Bush. And we have quite a battle going on. A front and a caution! Daniel Suarez and Austin Dillon in turn number three. Looks like Dillon locked up his brakes getting into that turn. And unfortunately took Suarez with him. And we are on the third lap of this race. Alex Bowman will lead us to the green flag this time. Kyle Busch in second, followed by Truex and Logano. Kyle Larson is looking to the inside. Almost made it three wide there for a second, but got shuffled back. And Alex Bowman starting to pull away from Martin Truex Jr. Truex said last week that he would bounce back today at Ping Pong City. He's hoping to do that today. Let's see if he can win this race at the end. One more lap to the halfway point. We have a three-wide battle for the lead right now. And Austin Dillon almost collects Kevin Harvick coming off of pit road. Good save by Kevin Harvick as well as Joey Logano who will also turn to avoid Harvick hitting him. Battle for the lead between Kyle Busch and Jimmy Johnson. They are entering turn number seven. Johnson's going to lead that lap. Alex Bowman lurking in third. But here comes Kyle Larson and Kevin Harvick. Kyle Busch to the outside. Still three wide in the middle of the pack. On board with Kevin Harvick in the number four. We are looking pretty antsy. And we have another caution. Eric Jones. As well as Joey Logano and William Byron. Let's take a look at this one. Not too sure what happened there. But it looks like the 20 had the same thing happen. 20 had very similar issue earlier that Austin Dillon had. Blocking the brakes going into that corner. And Jimmy Johnson will lead us back to the green flag once again. Lots of restarts in this race. We are past the halfway point. We are on lap 6 out of 10. Kyle Larson to the inside. Makes it 3 wide. He'll take the lead. And here comes Kevin Harvick in the forward. 3 wide in the middle of the pack. Very intense racing in the middle of that pack. Trying to get to the front. Because it is hard to get to the front here at this racetrack. And we've seen it so far today. Not many guys from the back have made it up front yet. But there is still plenty of time in these four laps. This track is really big. Jimmy Johnson clears for the lead. And here comes Kyle Larson again. Kyle Larson just does not know when to stop. He is relentless. He'll keep coming at you. And Kevin Harvick was able to push him to the lead. And now Kevin Harvick to the outside in the C turn. Kevin Harvick is going to clear Larson and take the lead back. Johnson shuffles back to third. And he'll battle Larson now. As we enter turn 7 again. And we have an, another problem. Kyle Larson. Wow. We will definitely have to take another look at that one. What happened there? Just some contact between Johnson and Larson. And that contact cut Larson's right front instantly. And sent him into the inside wall. Very shameful to see the 42 car go out this late in the race he had a really good race car potentially could have been the winning car and now we have overtime two laps to go kevin harvick leading them can he get his first win of the season here comes johnson to the inside looking to take that away from him johnson harvick is going to the outside fighting him and a three car lane has formed on the outside of the 48 they'll push past him jimmy johnson is going to get shuffled back to the fourth spot Kevin Harvick trying to pull away. Who's going to try to catch him? Will it be Truex or Bush? Kyle Bush takes second away. 
Kyle Busch. He's going to have to move Harvick. Austin Dillon, a lap car in the way. He's going to do it. Kyle Busch moves Harvick. And he's going to win his first race of the season. That's how you get it done. Kyle Busch finally gets a first win of the season. And that team must be happy. And now we take a look at the race results presented by Goopy Goober. Kyle Busch with a beautiful last lap move. It was a little dirty, but that's how you gotta get it done. Especially at a track like this. Harvick at least gets the second spot. Luckily for him, he did not wreck. And what a race we had today at Ping Pong City. It was just truly amazing. Plenty of chaos up front all day. Lots and lots of lead changes. Plenty of action. Some drivers not too lucky today. And there you see three very strong cars who were in the middle of the pack crash. And there was one that could have won the race. He had the car to do it, Kyle Larson. And there we see the last lap move that Kyle Busch did in the final turn on Kevin Harvick. And now we'll take a look at the point standings presented by Goofy Goober. Denny Hamlin has a tiebreaker over Kyle Larson with one win with 97 points. 